Hello my cookies, welcome to another shell challenge. Today we're doing Plumbella's Hell Shell. Uh, we did this a while back, um, built it, recorded it, all that good stuff. I just have not had time to edit the video and do a voiceover. I apologize for my... I don't know what to call it. <laughs> um, my busyness, I guess. I've been working, hanging out with my kids, my family, um, that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, life gets a little hectic sometimes, and before you know it, it's been a month since you've played The Sims, and you finally break down and buy the new pack, and bam, two days later, it goes on sale. Woo! Nah, it happens. Don't get me wrong. I'm a little miffed, but I should have known better. I usually wait till they go on sale, and I didn't, so of course it went on sale. That's just how life works. Not really. That's just how my life works. Anyways, so today with Plumbella's Hell Shell, we have decided to build residential. I mainly do residential. I'm just not super good with other types of builds. Um, I did do kind of a lounge bar club type build with another Plumbella shell. Um, I don't think I've uploaded that one yet. I do try to edit and upload in order of when I did them. Just because I do. And it's just a little nicer that way. Um, sorry this is kind of a bit of a long video, um, I don't know why it took me so long to do this shell, honestly I have no idea. I'm, I usually am not like super fast, but I'm not super slow either. I think I may have gotten distracted and walked away a couple times, um, I know once for sure, um, while doing this, just because... As I said, I have children, and sometimes I scream for their mother, and I have to walk away. And I apologize, my cookies, because even though I don't know all of you, and right now my numbers are small, but I appreciate it. I appreciate the likes, the follows, the subscribers, the shares, whichever you're doing. I appreciate it. Um... I don't know if I'll ever be YouTube famous like Plumbella, Vixella, Simlacy, Deligracy, James Turner, um, Steffo Sims, any of them. Um, I really enjoy watching most of their videos as well. And I wish I had the time to do as much as they do. Um, but unfortunately my life kind of went a different route. Um, I got a lot of bills to pay and of course with a normal job, nine to five. Um, don't get me wrong, I enjoy my job. I just think my job would be a lot nicer if it was at home playing Sims for you guys all the time. Or other games as well. I do play Animal Crossing um, and some other, you know, old school Super Mario, Donkey Kong. I love my Mortal Kombat, um, Need for Speed, Midnight Club. Those were like some of my favorite games when I was younger. Tony Hawk Pro Skater. I own like one through five of those. Like, I own every single one. And I'm, I I need to play them again because it's been a long time. But I need to get a screen capture device because 90% of my other games are on console, so I can't just pop them on my laptop and play them like The Sims. Anyways, as you can see, I went with a blue theme on this house. Sorry if you've noticed a trend with that. I have no idea why I go blue because my favorite color is red. Anyways, 
I think it's mainly because the blues, even though they're all different shades of blue, still flow together nicely. Where if you get different colors of wood grain, unless they're contrasting each other, they don't really go together. Like you'll have two light woods and they just don't look good because they're not the same. But anyways, um, I do have a lot more videos I need to edit, do voiceovers and upload. I do hope to get on top of these at some point and get to a point in my life where I am able to upload at least one video a week, if not every other week. I know right now we're going like one a month. But, uh, this is the first day I've had to myself in like a month and a half. And it's so nice. I cleaned out my fridge because it was full of leftovers from the last two weeks. And my husband started a new job, so he hasn't been home. It's usually his job to keep the fridge and kitchen tidy. But yeah, I cleaned out that fridge like a boss. It looks so good. Very empty, but good. Um, probably go out and get some groceries after my husband gets home uh, from work. Restock the fridge and the cupboards um, as I said like I uh, haven't had much time to myself but I, I actually have the whole week off of work next week it's my mom's birthday tomorrow I wish I could be with her to celebrate tomorrow but unfortunately I have to work Friday and Saturday so I'm hoping I can maybe get all my stuff together and maybe go out Sunday to her place for a couple days of my vacation because I love my mother. She hasn't always been the best mother, but she always made sure we were fed, we had clothes on her back, and a warm place to sleep. And and that we were safe, of course. Like, she always had a job. She always kept the bills paid. And you know, as a kid, you don't really recognize that. You don't see that. You just say, oh, my mom's at work all the time. She doesn't care about me. But the reason she's at work is because she does care about you. And, uh, I wish I'd seen that more as a kid that I do, like, as I see it now. But, uh, unfortunately as a child, it's all about hanging out with your friends and, and whatnot, so it's not really something we focus on. Um, sorry if you hear dogs barking. It's my neighbor's dog. My dogs may bark as well. They are outside in the shade. But they still work. <laughs> um, we're still, you know, we're mid July here. Uh, well, closer to the end of July, uh, 2020. Um, that wonderful time in the world. I'm sure you are all very aware of it. Um, some of the larger cities in the area I live have taken on to mandatory masks while in public places uh, or public indoor places anyways we haven't in place where I live yet we are a little bit of a smaller community um, but I know like any of our food uh, places like restaurants fast food um, do wear masks and some of them wear gloves um, which, cool, whichever, but, I 
Hmm. Anyway, uh, as you can see, I finished the pool and a little bit of landscaping in the back. I decided to go back into the house and do uh, the dining room area. I added an island, some nice stools, and we do a little table on the side as well. Make it look good, welcoming, and matching. <laughs> this entire house matches. Um, I don't know if it's really something that's good. The house that we live in currently is all pretty well the same. The flooring is exactly the same throughout the house except for the bathroom. And the walls in every single room are white. Except for, for where we have painted. Uh, which we've painted the bathroom and what was the kids room and then was our office for a little while uh, and is now actually our dining room it's like I guess a dining room slash playroom because we just moved the table in there so the kids could sit to do coloring and eat and art projects and whatever else um, our actual dining room is now our office uh, where we keep my desk, my husband's desk um, our dogs kennels cat's food, our rats, the pet rats, we have like deep freeze and closet and stuff with all our jackets and shoes and junk in it. But uh, it has like a navy blue wall, as like a feature wall, but the rest of it is white. And then in our bedroom we have uh, white walls with uh, what do they call it? I don't remember what it's called, but it's like it's straight white walls with four inch boards that go like around the trim on the bottom and then like every foot and a bit up and then around the top of that and then for like a foot and a half above that and the roof is all navy blue and then there's this ginormous Sputnik chandelier in our bedroom. If you don't know what a Sputnik chandelier is, Google it. It's kind of a cool light, but not for a bedroom. It'd be so much cooler in like a dining room or like an entryway. Um, if your ceilings are high enough, of course, because it's a big light. But I don't like it in my bedroom. Anyways, I tried to sell it once, but it didn't go over. My husband likes it though, so whatever. <laughs> but yeah, enough about my house. Anyways, let's look at the house I'm building. So now we're starting to furnish a uh, living area. I did up uh <laughs> So this is the living area. Sorry I had to do a cut there, I kind of lost my flow. Um, anyways, uh, trying to figure out how to do a nice area rug in this area. Decided to do kind of a front entrance rug and a smaller rug off the couch. Oh, excuse me, sorry about that. And uh, a TV console with some games and and uh, I tried to put a stereo on here. I. I don't know what it is when I try to raise an object now, like the the up down buttons. For whatever reason, it totally shoots off screen. I don't know why it does that. Um, as long as I hit my little special key button and then that, it's fine. But if I hit, if I just hit it, it just bam, off, like totally off to the side. <laughs> it's weird. Whatever. Here we're doing up some clutter, some house plants, a little bit of uh, exterior house plant or words, landscaping, <laughs> um, changing up things a bit. Um, I don't know. I just really decided to totally change up a lot of the landscaping 
uh, which you'll see in the end here. Um, figured a better out a desk with a nice little computer. And a little bit more clutter just to make it look, you know. It's nice to have a house look lived in for certain sim houses. Um, I'll be honest though, like most of the houses that I play, I don't usually put a lot of clutter in them. Just kind of the basics, you know, yeah, if we got kids or teenagers or whatever, we'll put a little bit of kid or teenage clutter or baby clutter if we got a baby. Um, I don't currently have any custom content in my game. So for those who would like to download uh, in the gallery, Sim Milk 88, uh, you can see this build and many other builds I've done, uh, as well as some Sims. And as I said, uh, most of my stuff doesn't have any custom content. Some of my older stuff does, um, or it has been flagged with custom content, even though I haven't used custom content, uh, just because it was in my game. So. Same with like packs. I own all the packs. Um, I built this one before Eco Lifestyle um, and also before the window and door centering update. Um, as I'm sure you noticed, my windows were snapping to the grid, still not letting me free flow them. So, kind of sucks, but uh, I'm excited to do my next shell challenge with the update and Eco Lifestyle. Um, I haven't looked for any yet, as I haven't played yet. Um, I do plan on probably playing for a bit after I get this upload done. My day has not really gone exactly as planned. But when does it ever? That's life for you. It's always going to throw you a curveball. Curveballs are okay sometimes though. They keep you on your feet. They make you aware. They make you see things that you normally wouldn't if your life was just always how you wanted it to be exactly. Uh, doing up a twins bedroom here. Thought it would be cool. Of course in the blue. Why not? I enjoy doing twin bedrooms. I usually try to make them um, match but the kids each have their own personality of course because no two human beings are exactly the same even if they are identical twins um, they'll still have their own likes and dislikes which is totally okay because we're human beings we're allowed to have our own opinions and views on things so when I did this twins room I did it kinda as uh, one is a little bit more of uh, a sports fanatic into you know being a jock maybe not super clean not super tidy um, that kind of stuff and then the other one uh, maybe a little bit more of a creative nerd geeky type uh, smart, good in school, studies hard, keeps things neat, tidy, organized. Um, all that kind of stuff. And, you know, maybe has some awards um, for their own kind of stuff. Maybe into kind of what, you know, into Pokemon or building robots, superheroes, kind of stuff like that. Your typical kind of opposites. Identical, but different. Um, I actually have um, friends that are identical twins. The They were, I guess, both very, very much the same growing up. They both really liked video games and and all that. Lego and whatnot growing up. Um, as they got older of course they went their separate ways a bit more. Um, 
But I remember because I was really good friends with their sister, and we would have sleepovers, and then we would kind of all hang out together till bedtime. And they always shared a room, but we'd go play video games in their room and everything. And then uh, me and my friend would go up to her room and, you know, do the girl thing, play with dolls or not dolls, but like Barbies or you know, do our makeup or something girly before bed. But, uh, I'd much rather hang out with the guys playing video games and building Lego. That was more my thing. Um, I definitely did like Barbies, though, and I think that's one reason why I like The Sims so much, is because they're essentially like virtual Barbies. And... But so much better, of course, because, you know, Barbie's got her limitations. Almost everything Barbie owns is pink, and pink is not always what you want. But, uh, that's okay. It is what it is. You're allowed to like what you like. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, that's just... Yeah. Uh, this has taken me so long. My husband is home and singing in the shower. I hope you cannot hear him. Uh, here I'm furnishing the master bedroom. As you can see, I continued with the blue theme. Gotta love it. I swear, I don't mean to always do blue. It just kind of happens. I'm gonna do my best... And my next shell challenge, I swear, I swear, I'm going to try to uh, make it a little bit more different colored, not just all blue tones. Try and do, uh, not necessarily the colored challenge. Um, I did do a video of that as well, which I will get up at some point, but as I said, it's not always ideal for timing and whatnot when these kind of things are trending. I'm about two months behind on everything. So I'm pretty sure I did this build two months ago. Um, it's been about a month since I've even really played The Sims. I played for a little bit the other day when I downloaded Eco Lifestyle finally. Um, but I basically just made a family and built a house. I didn't really play play anything. but been debating about doing a let's play. Uh, just gotta work on uh, maybe getting a green screen set up or something. Just cause what I have behind me isn't super appealing. Uh, not that it's ugly by any means. You know, it's a shelf with some knickknacks and collectibles and whatnot on it. Um, and yeah, wall. <laughs> it's nothing. Nothing special, but nothing bad. Oh, excuse me. Ugh. I really hope you guys enjoy my videos. I'm sorry I'm not as uh, bubbly, lively, up and go get them as some of the other simmers on here. Um, I'm just being me. I don't want to be fake. I don't want to pretend to be somebody I'm not. I don't want to pretend to be happy and go lucky and oh my gosh look at this <laughs> when I'm not like that. I'm not saying that the other simmers or YouTubers are fake by any means. That may be who they are in real life. I have no idea. I've never met them. I have absolutely no freaking clue who these people are in real life. Um, don't get me wrong, I would love to meet, you know, almost everyone I watch uh, on YouTube for my simmers. Um, I would love to be able to go, you know, to Sims Camp or, uh, you know, be on Sparked or something and play with fellow YouTubers and fellow simmers that I've watched for the last while and, you know wanted to know, but I just don't. But 
don't get me wrong, if uh, they wanted to put me on Sparked, um, I think I would definitely get my passport and get my butt there, because that I think would be awesome. I know with the whole thing going on right now, it probably will be a while before they do the next season, um, at least with anyone that's not from the U.S., unless there's a way they can figure out to do it, like, remotely. Um, whether it's through like Twitch or like a Zoom group chat, something or other. I'm sure they can figure it out. These people are smart. A lot of people are smart, but these people are smart. <laughs> anyway, as you can see here, I moved back to outside, doing some more exterior landscaping, changing some stuff up, moving some things around, making things look good. Um, I actually really like this little, like, the overhang, what I did with it. I think it looks cool. Um, the, somewhat spectacular, not entirely, there's parts of it that I hate. Um, but, uh, our backyard is literally split in half. Half of it has fruit trees, rose bushes, clematis, uh, vegetable garden, um, and some other, you know, it's basically a giant garden, uh, with a bunch of different foliage and garden fruits and vegetables. Um, the other half is, uh, more our kind of, where our dogs hang out, um, our kids, our pool, our shed, um, it's got a bunch of gravel. A little bit of grass, a lot of weeds, dirt. It's not very pretty. But it is what it is. Our front yard um, has a lot of flowers in it, some paths, uh, some large, uh, I think there's like evergreen and spruce trees. Um, some, uh, what are they called? Juniper bushes, I think they're called. And they're sort of shaped to like a kind of like a, in a ball shape. There's three of them, um, right on the edge of our driveway, and our driveway goes like all the way up. It actually was like our yard was a drive-through, but when we bought the place, we had the people that we bought it from build um, a fence in the area where there wasn't one in the back, because it used to be like an RV parking. But we don't have an RV, and I don't plan on getting one. So I was like, let's just fence it in. We got dogs. We got kids. We don't want them taken off into the back alley and onto the street. Um, so we got that closed in. And then uh, for the first, because we moved in in November, and we get snow here. So we ended up just kind of parking in the backyard for the first few months. And just watching our dogs closely when we let them outside to go to the bathroom. Because it was too cold for them to be out for too long anyway. So we basically just let them out and go do their business and then they come back in. So it was pretty easy. And uh, I was still working at the time too. I was fairly pregnant with our youngest child through that winter. And... Uh, it was pretty fun um, taking our older daughter to the day home through that time which was nice because she actually only lived like three blocks away from us which was super nice but we ended up when we had the baby we pulled her out of the day home because I was going to be home on maternity leave anyways for a year so I just took her out of the day home and kept her home with me uh, for uh, the spring and summer and then in the fall we sent her to pre-k uh, two days a week for a while and then in the second semester we sent her for four days a week just in the afternoons and she really enjoyed it and she loved it um, and then of course in spring this wonderfulness all hit in mid-March 
Um, school was cancelled and my daughter was quite heartbroken. Um, luckily our day home was still available through all this as I had to go back to work. But yeah, a little off topic. Sorry, I don't know. I kind of just trailed off there. But here we're doing some more landscaping, making that backyard look beautiful. Um, honestly, like I said, if we could just go from above and do this like we do in real, in here, in real life, I would be a professional landscaper or home designer, decorator, whichever. I would totally do it. I, uh, it would be so much easier than how we have to do it now. It's ridiculous. But, it's all good. So here we're just throwing in some flowers, filling out these decorative yard foliage areas, whatever you want to call them. The landscaping. Um, as you can see I stuck with the blue theme outside as well. I did add a splash of color with the, with the pinkish red there. And I don't know, I thought it looked good. Gave it just that little bit of, little bit of difference. Made it pop a little bit. Put in some trellisy type climbing flowers. Nice little tree. Um, another tree for some shade. This yard, honestly would be nice looking but it would be such a pain to keep that pool clean with all those trees in the fall and all those leaves come off and then again in the spring when you get uh, like the seeds and stuff falling off of trees when they after they've been pollinated and they release their whatever their cotton their buds whatever it is they release all trees are different um where I live we have a lot of cotton trees and it's not so bad around our house our swimming pool was pretty full of it at one point because our neighbor has like three cotton trees but uh, we just skimmed the pool out before we went in it but where the place the day home we take our kids to now they have cotton trees surrounding their like entire property and oh my gosh it looked like um like almost like snow or frost on the grass or like when you got all that spider webbing strewn up through the grass and the weeds and stuff and like Australia and stuff it almost looked like that it was gross um thankfully I don't really have allergies I feel so bad for the people that have bad allergies, especially to like cotton when it's so bad like that. Ooh. Sorry, I keep yawning. I don't know why I'm so tired. Oh. Anyway, um, getting into our finishing touches of the landscaping here. Um, only a couple minutes left in the video. If you'd stayed this far, thank you so much for watching. Please like, please subscribe, share with your friends, your fellow simmers, whomever. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm trying to, trying to make a name for myself, trying to, you know, not necessarily make it big, but I would like to be, you know, a moderately famous Sims YouTuber. That'd be awesome. Um, it's not in the cards. It's not in the cards, though. It is what it is. But, uh, I hope you guys appreciate what I do. Um, and what other simmers and YouTubers do when they do their editing and voiceovers. There's, there's a lot of time put into these. And I know 
a lot of people are probably like, oh, it takes nothing at all. Mm, it's easy. I thought it was at first, and I tried it, and I was like, holy crap. I was like, I can't imagine the time it takes for some people to do this. Um, like, this is like the fourth voiceover I've done. Because I keep coming across spots on the video where I apparently walked away for a minute or two or ten or longer. Like this right there. I just kind of... I don't know what happened there. But <laughs> whatever. Um, but yeah. It's somewhat difficult at times. I don't know why my video got so laggy at this point. In game, it was not this bad. But that's okay. The video is sped up, of course. Speed build in the name. But, uh, yeah. Just doing finishing touches. The good old save. And then, uh, checking out the property. Add a couple things here and there, of course, as I do this because sometimes you, you're like, oh, I forgot to throw in a microwave. Oh, I forgot a smoke alarm. Oh, I should add some more clutter. Oh, I should do this. Always at the end, but uh, yeah. As I said, I hope you guys enjoy my builds. I hope you guys enjoy my videos. Uh, sorry I'm not super upbeat. Like I said, I try not to be somebody I'm not. For those that are upbeat and can hold the audience this long, almost 40 minutes, holy smokes. I did not mean for this video to be this long. But anyways, it is. Sorry. Like I said, if you made it this far, you're a champ. Thanks. Appreciate it. Um, give me a like, give me a follow, give me a subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Um, typically find me under Sim Milk, Sim Milk 88. Those are kind of my go to tags. So, I hope that works for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this build. Thank you, Plumbella, for the shell challenge. I appreciate doing them. And I hope you appreciate me building them. Have a great day, guys. Stay delicious, my cookies. And we'll see you next time.